Here we have another cardioid we're going to graph, and we're going to utilize our calculator uh, for the ones that we, the ones that we can't do but in our head. So the ones we can do in our head, remember, are these guys here, because we know the sine and cosine of all those angles without a calculator. So the cosine or the sine of zero is zero. So the first value would be four minus three times zero, which is four. Pi over 2, 4 minus 3 times sine of pi over 2. Well, sine of pi over 2 is 1. So that's 4 minus 3 times 1, which is 1. Sine of pi is 0, so that's 4 minus 3 times 0, which is 4. 3 pi over 2, <clears throat> the sine of 3 pi over 2 is negative 1. So it's 4 minus 3 times negative 1, which is 4 plus 3. So that's 7. And 2 pi... 4 minus 3 times sine of 2 pi is 4 minus 3 times 0, which is a 4. For the other ones, we punch them in our calculator, and 4 minus 3 times sine of pi over 4 returns 1.87. Uh, same thing when you plug in. Three pi over four. Five pi over four. When you plug it in, you get six point one two. And seven pi over four, you also get six point one two. And so let's plot this one and compare it. Compare it to the one we did before. So when I rotate zero degrees or zero radians, I walk out four brings me here. Uh, when I rotate pi over 4, so let's keep get this all sort of straight so I can see. So when I walk, uh, when I rotate pi over four, I walk out 1.87. So that's roughly here. It's going to be tough with the stylus. Uh, roughly there. It's hard. To, it's hard to do points with a stylus. I have to admit. When you rotate pi over two, you walk out one. So I'm facing pi over two when I walk out one. Three pi over four. It's 1.87 again. When I uh, rotate pi, I walk out 4. Phi pi over 4, I walk out a little more than 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so roughly here. When I walk, uh, rotate 3 pi over 2, I walk out 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Seven pi over four again is a little more than six, so that's about here. And then we're back at when you rotate two pi, you're walking out four again. And so our picture looks picture looks like this. So it's another cardioid. Um, it looks a little different. If you, I want you to compare it to the one we did before. It looks a little different because it never comes back to the origin. In other words, the the dimple, I guess you'd call this the dimple here. Uh, it it's not at the origin, right? It's it's actually away from the origin. And I encourage you to think of the reason as to why that's true. Um, and I mean, it has it clearly has something to do with the form of this equation and the va the values used in comparison to the last one we did. All right. So, um, I want you to try on your own, uh, see if you can do this one on your own. One thing I want to point out is that you'll be responsible for, um, you'd be responsible for graphing this without a calculator, okay, and the reason you should be able to do that is because you can do all, you can evaluate sine and cosine of all these angles without a calculator. Okay, um, 
the ones that are, you know, pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, the thing you want to remember is that 1 over root 2 is roughly equal to 0 0.707. And so that will help you uh, as you're doing this by hand. Because 1 over root 2 is going to show up a lot.